right, today we got something a little different going on for you. We're not working on anything, not even the Camaro. Although this is a bit of an update for you. We got the motor in, cowl painted, cages painted, quarters mocked up, diffs in. It's kind of getting closer to race ready. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on today actually is the racetrack. Um, so we'll go for a little bit of a tour and uh, show you some of the cars we got to rip around the track, some of the trails we got to ride on, uh, the equipment we got to move, the material, and the material we work with, which is pretty much wood chips which makes it kind of interesting because well it's incredibly soft and it's always rotting away but uh in the winter time it packs and freezes awesome and makes for a really good track uh, you probably recognize all these trucks here except for this one this bronco is a uh, a new find i picked up a few weeks ago and i got a video of that coming up of uh pulling it out of a field and getting it running but for right now i'm gonna throw my gopro on my helmet we'll go for a little tour around the yard So I'm sitting on a pile of wood chips that's about 10 years old. That stuff over there is pretty much fresh. So we sell this stuff in any form, but uh, the best stuff that sells is the stuff that's about five to 10 years old. So it kind of turns to more of a mulch type material. And uh, it's all throughout the yard. The newer stuff makes good trails. And then the rest of the stuff we sell. Uh, this machine here is a John Deere 50, and that's my bread and butter, if you will. So. I do plumbing and electrical, trenching and excavation. Some landscaping as well. Uh, we do a little snow removal, that's our loader there. So again, that comes in handy with the racetrack and loading trucks.
All right, this truck's pretty fun to drive, actually. Now, since we welded up the diff, it actually slides around other than the one tire fryer. Runs so damn good. We'll see if we can catch that uh, nice little smoke show with the oil it burns in the video. I think it burns a little oil. Holy Did it before? Yeah, this intermittent. Holy <laughs> wow. Alright, this thing here is a uh, 97 Subaru Impreza. We've had it for like four years. It's been super good as a field car. I mean, we rip the crap out of it every year. And it keeps coming back. We got the old uh, custom ignition here. You know, someone stole a key out of this thing, actually, believe it or not. A couple cranks and she should go, maybe. All right. So this car was kind of like the beginning of our uh, rally track that we had going on here. Uh, we had this and another Subaru as well, a right-hand drive SCI. This thing drives like a boat. Uh, the SCI drove really hard, but uh, I mean, again, this thing is freaking bulletproof. We got it from a little old lady. Oh, are you gonna fix it up? Like, oh, we'll fix it up, all right. So we got no e-brakes, so all my drifts gotta just be weight entry, but uh, here's a taste.
So that's the track. Those are the machines. These are the cars, plus a few others. I mean, that Camaro is right around the corner from being done. Uh, and then I think we got an El Camino coming our way. So that'll kind of top off the uh, the little selection here. All-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, uh, car, truck, crossover, you know, whatever. We'll see which one's faster. Because honestly, it seems kind of neck and neck. I mean, the Subaru is exceptionally quick. But the Chevy's a lot of fun, and it slides around real good, especially after we welded the uh, diff on it. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe. We got a lot coming up this fall into winter, and uh, we hope to have a lot of fun, bring a few more cars around and uh, see what we can get away with.